right, we got another yard we're about to tackle. We got some, uh, look, like we got Ron's Organic, another lawn care service, fixing to knock out the yard, I guess, uh, two houses down. Customer came out and uh, just wanted to advise that they put some brand new sod here, guys. It looks pretty, yep. Yeah pretty brand spanking new so we're not gonna mow none of this area here i don't know I, i'm probably not even weed eat it as long as that keep they keep that watered it'll be okay then oh okay and this little section i'm not gonna touch any of this section here um this part i'll hit it up with the weed eater let's go take a look see in the back now we're gonna use a skag to mow this entire property of course i'm gonna go in through the other side of the property through the uh, east side of the property oh okay looks like they got rid of the firewood that was here which is great this is a bi-weekly property bi-weekly schedule or every other week we've got the little corner section here i may knock this out with the weed eater as well and the back oh my lord let's go look at this oh yeah i may just knock it down with the weed eater it's a little soft here i don't want to dull my blades because this is very thick mostly weeds well it's nothing but weeds so we're going to knock that down with the weed eater we'll clean this up with also the weed eater kind of go around if you guys know what type of plant this is y'all let me know i don't know i may I want to say is is it a fig tree i don't know what it is y'all guys let me know in the comments man you guys that are plant buffs i'm sure you guys know exactly what this is i'm gonna say it's a fig tree but i know it's not but i could be wrong as well so definitely cut this down and as you can see it's really tall not bad but it's tall and i like to keep this this property or the grass here pretty tall so we'll probably cut it at a four and a half maybe four and three eighths i don't know we'll see four and a quarter maybe somewhere around there we got the other guys across the way it looks like they're taking a little break ron's organic i'm gonna actually weed it first to be honest with you Y'all guys also let me know in the comments as a soloist. Do you guys mow first, weed eat first, blow first? Does it depend on the condition of the grass? I'm gonna go ahead and weed eat first or trim first. Now I guess we can go ahead. There's another lawn care company. Yo, shout out to Lawn Commander. What's up? Got Hurricane Fred here. Uh-oh. Uh oh, y'all guys got a hurricane out there, bro? Well, be careful, bro. Don't let Fred uh, bring you down, my man. How much you charging for this yard? Why do you high? What does that mean, bro? Landscape of America. Why do I cut it high? Uh, this is St. Augustine grass, so you definitely want to keep St. Augustine a little bit higher than Bermuda. Alyssa is cool. What's up? I researched, and yes, it's a fig tree. Okay, cool. I was right. I was actually right. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to start with the with the front yard. We're going to go ahead and put an edge on it. As you can see, it's definitely overgrown. It's, going, it's growing over to the uh, sidewalk there. So we're going to go ahead and do our edge. And then we're going to do our taper. And we're going to go around the trees, around the flower bed. We'll do the backyard and then we'll come back and we'll knock out the... Sorry, why cut it so high? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I kind of figured that's what you're trying to get at. Yeah, man, uh, like I mentioned, it's St. Augustine. St. Augustine, you don't want to cut it under... I'm going to say you want to stay at least above two and a quarter. This type of grass thrives better long. Whereas Bermuda grass or zoysia here in the south, you definitely want to cut at least two inch even lower without a any further delay 
let's go ahead and start putting our edge on on this property so we're going to be using of the echo srm 225 got our two cycle mix Of you guys can tell but i was actually doing about quarter to half throttle whenever i'm against a fence like this just because it looks like they look like it's been stained so we don't want to ruin or chip the, the wood fence at the bottom there so another little tip you don't need to go full throttle go super fast go super hard Now, I chose to weed eat this section. Like I said, it only took a couple of seconds. Uh, it looks like there used to be a tree here. 
so you got this this hill here and usually you know i just tend to kind of bite this this hill right here and definitely ruins the blades dull the blades so it's just a lot simpler to do do the trimming work here uh, less damage on the mower and, and on the blades so let's go ahead and uh, let's do the alley and then we'll we'll finish up right here in the backyard Okay, look, check it out. So I guess that is a fig here. We got one, two. That is awesome. Cool. Continue the cleanup. Let's go ahead and uh, do our perimeter trim, and then we'll get the edge here. wanted to mention kind of compare the front yard to the backyard the backyard is definitely bermuda with some weeds looks like we got some uh dallas grass growing but the backyard you could actually cut it down i'm going to say about two inches and uh lower so i think that's what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and uh, mow we'll mow the backyard uh definitely shorter than the front we looks like we might have some st augustine grass right here a little bit of mix st augustine but we're still going to mow it down yeah we got a little bit of st augustine but the majority of the backyard is bermuda grass and you could tell the difference blades are a little a little thinner and uh, here's a seed head of bermuda grass that's a seed head let's go ahead and continue doing our cleanup here around the uh, foundation of the home and on these stepping stones so or the pavers let's go
Definitely humid out here. <laughs> Super humid. are trimming that way all we have to do is just make sure we get a good nice mow and uh we'll blow afterwards and voila that's all she wrote so we're going to be using the skag v right 2 32 inch hey guys if y'all guys haven't uh yet uh subscribed to my channel please uh, hit that subscribe button hit the like button that way uh YouTube will notice that and maybe start uh, publishing my videos uh, further out. So I'd appreciate if y'all guys will like this video, like my other videos, man, as, as well. Y'all go check out my other videos. Also, let me know if you guys are digging these live streams. I think what I'm gonna do, just because there's tons of leaves, I'm gonna blow it on to, on, onto the lawn real quick. That way I can mulch it up. I know it's a uh, it's an extra step might take a little bit more time however if you charge accordingly then uh, it definitely makes up for uh, for the little details like this so always make sure you of course I'm not gonna tell you how much I charge for this property it is I would say maybe a tad bit on the high side but that's just because things like this so let's go so i'm using uh the still bg86 handheld blower
So uh, basically the front yard we did a uh, four and a quarter. Backyard, Bermuda. We're gonna leave it at four and a quarter. We're gonna knock it down. So we're gonna have to double cut the backyard uh, if we want it short. So I don't wanna go just all the way straight short yet. Uh, we may even, yeah, we're gonna leave it there at four and a quarter, maybe four. And then we'll come back and see if we can't knock it down to maybe three. Let's see if we can't do a three here without leaving too much clumps. So let's get after it. this might be okay I guess I could maybe go a notch down but we're definitely leaving a lot of clumps here now I could do uh, I got two options I could come back with the blower and just kind of disperse the uh, clumps there which is okay or I could lift the uh, shoot blocker up and disperse the grass that way as well however I don't have my uh, my bungee cord to keep this up Let's see if it stays up. No, it won't stay up. I usually have a bungee cord that I'll that will hold this up. But I may I think we're gonna go, let's drop it down at least to four. Get it just a tad bit lower. And then I'll just come back at the end with the blower and disperse the the clock. So let's go.
check this out i'm going to email the customer or text the customer maybe get a scheduled for a power wash definitely clean up their driveway here measure the uh whole driveway and maybe up here in the carport there but you know what i went ahead and just mowed it down to a four i think i was going to say i was going to try to get it at a three but you know what a four i think it's it's pretty good whenever i come back i'll try to knock it down another another notch and there it is the great state of texas only in texas man that's looking nice too not bad of course they had a crew of three guys four guys that's why they were able to knock it out this one looks uh looks good too right but there it is y'all question of the day though what would you guys charge for a yard like this y'all let me know in the comments below ben jammin says mulch master marky mark <laughs> that's what i'm talking about appreciate it my man what would you guys charge for the property we already did the walk around you seen how how big it was you seen how long it took y'all seen the trimming it needed the uh edging it needed and then of course the leaves consider the leaves consider the uh overgrown grass for a bi-weekly property like this how much would you charge 40 to 50 dollars ben jammin says okay all right guys i got to get out of here i'm going to start blowing bam wham bam thank you ma'am appreciate it guys we'll see y'all guys on the next stream or the next video y'all take care